found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, and if you are new here, thanks so much for joining. My name is Misty, and today I am bringing you another episode of our Drifter Challenge. If you are not part of the Raven family, but you want to be part of the Raven family, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that it does remind you when new things go live on the channel. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and see what Jaden and her family are up to today in today's episode. So as you can see, Adelaide here is just in a bear costume because she is going through a phase where she wants to be in a bear suit and that is the way she feels the most comfortable. We also just recently found out that Rebel is going through a picky eater phase and so we love that for us. No, Misty, we freaking don't. But it is what it is. We know that children do go through phases and so that is the life that Jaden is currently having to deal with is her children going through these different phases and she is like, I'm gonna come outside and enjoy myself a nice fire. We know that she loves being outdoors. She loves experiencing nature. And so she's just out here enjoying herself a nice fire when lo and behold, Adelaide decides to come on outside in her bear costume. And she's like, child, no, absolutely not. Go back inside and change your clothes. You have school and you cannot wear that to school. And she's like, but mom, absolutely not. Go change. I know you are the most comfortable in this suit, but you have school and you absolutely cannot go ahead and wear that to school. People will make fun of you. So please go change. So Jaden is just dealing with some of her plants while the girl goes inside and changes her clothes for school. Marcus is getting ready for work. Everyone is getting themselves ready to go to their prospective places for the morning. The children are about to head off to school and then once she's done gardening, she'll be heading to work. Once that takes place, as you can see, we do have a dead plant here in the front of the house, which really sucks. I'm going to have to get her to dispose of that. I kind of hoped that she was going to do better with the gardening, but she's really not doing so great. Unfortunately, we keep losing plants, and so she's not that great of a gardener as I had hoped she was going to be. We are throwing away flowers left, right, and center, and that is not at all what she had hoped for. I mean, she's got her, like, fruits and vegetables that are you know, kind of doing okay, but when it comes to her flowers, she is not a good flower grower. She just isn't. So we'll have to have her throw out this dead plant and then she's gonna get herself ready for work because she does have to go in for her shift. And she's just like, I can't believe that I keep having to throw these flowers away. And he's like, it'll be fine, honey. And she's like, no, what is the difference between growing a flower and growing a bloody vegetable? Why do I have so much trouble with this? And he's like, I can't answer this question for you. And she's like, it's ridiculous, Marcus. It shouldn't be that hard to blow to bloody grow a flower. He's like, well, honey, we do live in the desert. And she's like, I don't care where we live. It's a flower. I want flowers to grow here. And he's like, okay she's like i'm headed off to work he's like so am i dear so they're off to work and i'll see you guys when they get back so everyone is home from work and as you can see she has started a fire oh shit! literally oh, shit! not in the pit but actually like has started a fire so now we have to extinguish the fire before she catches herself on fire so here she goes miss superwoman putting the fire out marcus what are you doing Watch out before you catch yourself on fire. So he's freaking out. He's done run off. He's like, oh shit, a fire. Yeah, oh shit, a fire. She's put the fire out. And then here we have Adelaide. And she's like, it's fine. She's not scared at all. She's just sitting here looking at the fire that's still going. Like, oh, that sucks. What happened? And she's like, it's fine. So she's invited over Orange Bailey Moon. They are actually going to do a little bit of homework together. And what the hell, Marcus? See, I knew you were going to catch yourself on fire, and now you're not even smart enough to put yourself out. Oh my god. Alright, we're going to have to get her to put him out of... Okay, put him out before he dies. Are you serious? She's going to put him out through the wall. Well, that's not very realistic. But, okay, we're putting him out. Alright. We have a sentiment gained. It says, ah, oh, am I still alive? Oh, I am. I guess you saved me, huh? Thank you so much. Seriously, yikes, that was close. I owe you big time. 
Yeah, you kind of do. Because you were being a dumbass. And you were just standing there waving your arms around. Don't you know oxygen feeds fire? You're supposed to stop, drop, and roll. Didn't you learn anything in elementary school? Meanwhile, Jaden's passed out. She's like, this is too much drama for me. And she's just hit the deck. This poor girl... She's thinking about the fire. If I had to stop thinking about what happened. Yeah, you almost lost your husband because he's stupid. Oh, Jesus. She's going to go ahead and head off to bed. He's just cleaning himself up because he was covered in soot. The children are back here doing their homework next to this, you know, it's really just embers now. The, the fire's pretty much out. Thank God, because that's all we need is for the children to catch themselves on fire. They have finished their homework, and Adelaide is about to pee herself, but Marcus broke the tub, so now he's having to repair that. I mean, Marcus, everything you touch breaks. So, what does that say for you? Adelaide's going to go ahead and go to the washroom, and then everyone is going to go ahead and call it a night and get themselves into bed because it is about almost, what, 9 o'clock coming up, and I'll see you guys in the morning. I lied. I'll see you guys at 10 o'clock at night. Jaden has gotten up because she's realized that Adelaide has broken the sink, so now she has to repair that. So she's up at 10 p.m. repairing a broken sink, and she's just like... Why is everyone in my house always breaking shit? If it wasn't for the ghost that I got rid of, now everyone in my house is breaking shit. She can't catch a break, this poor girl. Like, constantly, everyone is just causing her chaos. And she's thinking to herself, it doesn't ever end. It really doesn't. So she is hungry and she's tired. She's going to fix herself something to eat really quick and have herself a bite to eat. And then she's going to head herself back to bed. It is going on 11 o'clock at night. So she's having a really late night snack. And then she'll head herself to bed. The poor dear. I mean, she tried to make herself some BLTs, but they didn't work. So now she's going to have herself some bacon and eggs. Oh my gosh, I'm just going to throw those out because clearly they glitched out. It didn't work, so we'll let her have this food here. I'll pop the leftovers in. Oh, she's having meat, uh, fall meat and chips, actually. So she'll eat that. I'll put the leftovers in the fridge, and then she can go on back to sleep. Everyone is just getting themselves some shut-eye, and then we will catch back with you guys in the morning. Okay, it is very bright and early in the morning, and it is also Marcus's birthday today. So I have Jaden up. She is going to go ahead and make him a chocolate cake. She's like, oh, it's the birthday of someone very special. And he's like, don't remind me. And she's like, honey, we have very special plans for you today. Didn't you hear that they put in that park over on <clears throat> the middle of town? And he's like, yep. And... Adelaide's like, I got a present, but I don't want it. And he's like, you're going to keep that gift. It was for you. Be grateful. And she's like, well, that sucks. And he's like, I don't want to hear any more about it. So she's like, I'm going to make you a chocolate cake. And then we're going to head over to that new water park. And he's like, are you serious? And she's like, yes, I'm absolutely positively serious. We are going to celebrate your birthday. It's not every day that you have a birthday. And he's like, Actually, I have a birthday once a year. And she's like, Marcus, I'm serious. This is a very important birthday for you, and we are going to celebrate. And we're going to go to that new water park that's in the area. We have the money to go, and we're going to go. And he's like, very well, honey, whatever you wish. And she's like, okay, I'm just going to make this cake, and then I'm going to go deal with some of the gardening, and then we're going to head out, and we're going to go to the water park. The kids will have a blast. You'll have a blast. We're going to celebrate the summer and your birthday and we're just gonna have a lovely day and we're gonna see what this new park is all about and it'll be wonderful and he's like okay honey and she's like let me just put some candles on here and let's go ahead and celebrate for you and he's like I think you're making a really big deal of this and it's not that big of a deal and she's like it is a big deal to me it should be a big deal to you so he's just gonna blow out his candles here and happy birthday Marcus it is your birthday all right, so Marcus has aged up seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks. We're going to party like the Grim Reaper's not around the corner. So he has entered into 
his elderly years and this is his makeover now that he has become an elder and I did change his everyday outfit to look like this. The rest of his outfits I didn't change as, and she is just going to go ahead and like I said deal with some of these gardening. We're going to harvest some of these things and then we're going to immediately gather the family and head out to the new park that was placed in the center of town here in Oasis Springs and have a lovely birthday celebration for Marcus because he has entered into his senior years and you know Jaden is super excited to celebrate his birthday even if he kind of isn't and so that will be fun for us. I do want to show you this park it was something that I pulled off of the gallery. So this was made by Heather B14X and you can find it on the gallery. It is a lovely build. So we have arrived here in this new park and they're just going to go ahead and jump right into the water and get started with their celebrations and they do want to, it is the Summer Olympics today in the game, so they do need to have a little bit of water fun and get some exercising. They also should watch some sports TV, but they don't have a television at their house, and there's not a television here, so they're probably not going to be able to partake in that. But they can obviously have some water fun. They can definitely do some exercising by swimming and things of that nature. So they are definitely going to be able to make those two milestones be met for this holiday season. And also they will be able to, you know, just enjoy themselves here at this new park that was placed in the middle of town here in Oasis Springs and celebrate the birthday of her husband and their dad. And so as you can see, Jaden is just getting her fitness in. She is swimming and getting that exercise and getting that water fun all at the same time. And Rebel there is doing the same as his mom. They are both just swimming their little hearts away. Meanwhile, Marcus and Adelaide are kind of doing the opposite. They're getting their motor skill up and they are having a little bit of fun over on the water slide. So I will show you them in just a second, but they are super cute together. Let's go ahead and check on the rest of the family here. So as you can see, here's Rebel. He is just swimming, swimming, getting his exercise in as well and his water fun. So he's having a good old time. And then we have Marcus and Adelaide and they are over here playing on the water slide together having a good old time and look Marcus is like oh yeah they are loving this shark water slide and they're just having a really fun time in this park look at him he's like yes and so he finally met his goal for the summer olympics today as well and he's like, okay, maybe Jaden had something here. I'm actually having a pretty good time here with, with my kids. So he's actually enjoying his birthday celebration here at this park with the family. And he's loving the fact that maybe, you know, maybe Jaden was onto something. It's nice to get out of the house and go to new places and, you know, so it was good of her to go ahead and talk him into coming to this park. So he's loving the fact that, you know, she had this idea where they would celebrate with a cake at home and then come here and celebrate his day at this new park that got put into their neighborhood. And so she's just going to run on over here and say to him, like, well, what do you think of the park? And, you know, how's your birthday celebration going? Are you having a good time? And he's going to say, honey. I love you so much. You know me sometimes better than I know myself. And I am so in love with you. I love you more and more every day. And she's like, oh, Marcus. And he's like, I didn't think it was possible to love you more than I loved you yesterday. But I love you more today than I did then. And she's like, honey. And he's like, honestly. 
you're never going to understand how much I love you. And she's like, oh, you're such a charmer. And he's like, no, really. And she's like, okay, well, happy birthday, dear. <clears throat> so those two are super precious. And the kids are just, one of them's on a float floating around and the other one's doing a back float in the water so they are just enjoying having a little bit of pool time they don't get to do this ever so they are loving life right now and they are just having a grand old time these two are just you know spending a little bit of alone time together here talking and you know he's like I really appreciate you planning this for me. It was a lovely surprise. I really, really love you so much. So she is going to just go on over here and meeting all of the locals in the neighborhood and just talking with them. But she's like, you know what? It is too hot to be in these bloody blue jeans. So she's going to change out of these blue jeans and she's going to go on over to the... Um, little areas over here and she is going to just sit down and lay out in the sun for a little while and try to work on her tan. She is just relaxing and she is soaking up some sun and she's like, this is the life. Oh, I haven't been able to relax like this in, geez, I can't even remember how long. There's no chaos, there's no ghosts, there's nothing broken. Like, I can just relax, soak up the sun. If I get hot, I can jump in for a swim. Oh, this is the life. And she's just loving it. And she's enjoying the great outdoors. She's, you know, had a great holiday cheer from having a good day. She's enjoying the fresh air. She's had a relaxing swim. It says a good swim is a great way to relax. So she is feeling very energized and she is just really in a great mood. And she's happy because she's been with people. She loves being around other people. And so Jaden is really in her element right now. And she is just in a great, great place. She also looks like she is, you know, maybe going to fall asleep a little bit, but we don't necessarily want you to fall asleep, love. I don't want you to get sunburned. I just want you to get sun kissed. So I don't want her to fall asleep and get burned. <laughs> We're just going to watch her little moodlets here. It says she's sun kissed. She has stayed out in the sun long enough to get a solid tan. So that's all we want for her. We just want her to get good and tanned. We don't want her to get sunburned. I don't want her to be, you know, in any kind of pain. So she's happy that she's gotten herself a tan here. And now she just wants to lay down and look at the clouds. She is such a dreamer, this one. She really, really is. And so she is just enjoying her day. And she's like, oh, but she's getting a little bit hungry. So I am going to have her come over here to this grill. She's going to grill up some baked potatoes for the family because as we know Adelaide does like a little bit more of a healthy food option so we're just going to do some baked potatoes and then once those are done she'll call the family over to go ahead and grab themselves a plate and we'll all have ourselves some baked potatoes and enjoy our meal hopefully she does a pretty good job with these she is getting a little better at cooking so it should go pretty well I would think Look at her. She's really enjoying grilling out on this place. I say that, and then she drops the damn potato on the ground. Yes, I saw that, Jaden. Don't think nobody saw that. We saw that shit. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and call our family to a meal and eat. So she's going to grab herself a plate, and then she'll run over. I have no idea why you didn't just go ahead and sit down there at the picnic table. She's going to run all the way over here. Where are you headed? Oh, she's going to run all the way over here next to this guy and sit with him. That's awkward. Do you even know this fella? I guess she does. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm going to leave now. Okay, well, that was weird. She's like, oh, well, do I smell? No, I don't. I don't stink. Okay, well, Marcus is going to come join her. Okay, or not. Uh <laughs> He's like, I think I need to work out a little bit. 
You know Marcus is a buff. He's a fitness buff. So he's just going to work out a little bit. And this is Nancy Langrab as an elder. She's just come to introduce herself. So we are getting ourselves a friendly or respectful introduction from Nancy Langrab. It looks like she's a fan of ours. So we do have a little bit of uh, fame because of our painting. Um, selling everything to the art gallery has given us a little bit of fame. So she's a fan of ours. And so it seems that Nancy is just really going on about our art and talking to us. And we're just like, okay, thanks for coming and introducing yourself. We really appreciate that. And so now that we've finished eating, everyone is just having a nice little conversation. And Jaden is just sitting here listening to the conversation and then joining in. Now she's going to go over here and it looks like she's going to try to sit down and talk with this gentleman again. I don't know who this gentleman is, but it seems that she really wants to have a conversation with him. <laughs> she's like, hello, my name is Jaden. How are you? Are you um, new to the area? And she's like, no, I'm not, but I am a lovely fan of yours. And she's like, oh, well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you so much. And she's like, I love your art. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. So they're just talking to her about her art, and she's thinking to herself, well, I think today's been a pretty good success. And now that there's so many people that are starting to gather, you know, wanting to discuss her art and things like that, she's kind of feeling a little bit off-putting. And so she's like, I think that's enough, you know, kind of for today. And so she's wanting to go ahead and head on home. You know, she wanted this to be more about her, her husband, and his birthday, and now that the fans are starting to gather, she's kind of feeling a little bit awkward. So she's going to go ahead and wrap things up, and we're going to head on home. Because she does want this day to be about Marcus, not about herself. And so they're going to go ahead and head back to the house. So now that we are back at the house, everyone is going to go ahead and take care of their needs. And as you can see, Jaden is straight away back to the painting board. She has a plan that... Now that they're back home, she's going to paint a little bit because tonight she wants to run a yard sale. And so she has been doing a lot of painting and she has a bunch of things in her inventory. So she's going to gather all of her paintings together and this evening she's going to sell them all in a yard sale while the children are sleeping. Why in the middle of the night, do you ask? Because then the children won't be underfoot and she can actually get some things done. So she's going to wait until everyone goes to bed tonight and she's going to hold a yard sale. A yard sale in the middle of the night, do you find that odd? Yes, I do find that odd, but that is what she wants to do. So that is what she's going to do because this is Jaden and she beats to her own drum. So Marcus is here just talking to her about the yard sale and he's like, are you still planning to hold your yard sale? And she's like, yes, I am. And he's like, do you have a lot of pieces? And she's like, I've got a pretty decent size amount of things to sell but they're gonna go ahead and chat a little bit so she has several paintings here that she can sell at the yard sale but they're just chatting and Marcus is like well what are you planning to do with the money that you get from the yard sale and she's like actually it was gonna be a surprise but I want to take the kids out to a holiday for their summer break and he's like oh really and she was like yeah I do oh we can't talk about this right now and Adelaide's like hi dad Happy birthday again. He's like, thanks, sweetheart. She's like, so did you have a good day out at the park? And he's like, actually, I had a fantastic day out at the park. And she's like, amazing. I had a blast with you on the water slide, Dad. We should definitely go and do that again sometime. I love it when we go and we play like that. And he's like, absolutely, honey. We can go to the park again anytime. And she's like, really, Dad? And he's like, of course, honey. And she's like, oh, that's great. So Marcus is just heading off. She is going to go back here and light a fire because, as we know, Jaden loves to have a fire going. Is she planning to sit back there at the fire? No one knows, but she loves to have a fire going. Nope, clearly she's not. Marcus has decided to go ahead and tap into that birthday cake. She's going to go ahead and have herself a bit of a nap because she knows that she's going to be up later and she will be doing a yard sale. And it is time for the yard sale. So we are going to go ahead and mark up the prices. She's going to be marking these prices up 
and then we will go ahead and get it started. She's just practicing her little speech here for when she's going to be tending it. So let's go ahead and, you know, stop the table, mark it up, and then we will start this yard sale. She's like, okay, I think I've got my speech down to an science. I know what I'm going to say. I know what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and let's get it started here. I know what I'm going to do. This is great. I've got it. All right, so she's going to get it going here. And so we've started the yard sale. And she's tending the table. And she's just waiting to see if anyone's going to show up. And she's like, okay. As you can see, Marcus is up and Adelaide is up. But we have our first person to come. And she's like, oh, right. Here we go. And so she's just telling them about her art. And she's like, yeah. And all the people are starting to pile in. And she's like, okay, Marcus, please go away. This is why she was doing this in the middle of the night. But it's not the middle of the night anymore. It's like 5 o'clock in the morning and the yard sales finally started. Oh, we've made our first sale. All right. So I will let you guys know at the end how much we made. But we are finally getting this going. It is bright and early in the morning. Everyone's starting to wake up. So I was hoping people wouldn't be underfoot. But that's just not the case. Everyone is all in the way. But that's okay. The yard sale is definitely going it's on a roll here people are starting to come and show up people are starting to buy things oh we've sold another one let's go ahead and stock it we've sold two paintings so far and she's doing really well with this yard sale and marcus is on the phone adelaide's on the phone they're both in the way guys move out of the way we've got a yard sale going on here Come one, come all, to the painting sale. Yes, I painted these. Absolutely. Sorry about the mud and the dirt. I understand that. Yes, I I know. But at least I do have them on a cart here. They're not getting dirty. Oh, we've made another sale. This is perfect. It's going fast. Yes. And she's like, this is going so great. This is working out so much better than I thought it would. Original paintings painted by myself. Would you like to take a look? Yes, they're, they're originals. You won't find another one like them anywhere. Oh, we've made another sale. Holy crap, she's doing so great. We've got two paintings left. That's all we've got left is two, these two paintings. Come on, you guys. We've got a little bit, about halfway left time. Is she going to be able to sell these last two paintings before the yard sale time runs out? Only time will tell. Okay, Bob, what do you think? Are you going to buy a painting? You know you want one. Come on, Bob. Buy a painting from us. He's like, oh, it's so dirty here. I know. We live in a desert for the love of Pete. Just give us a break. It's on a cart. The paintings aren't getting dirty. Come on. You know you want to buy a painting from us. The kids are headed off to school in an hour's time. Come on, we got to get this yard sale done before we have to head to work. Oh, Bob bought a painting from us. Yes, Bob. Thank you. We got one painting left. Who's going to be the one? Is it going to be you, Mr. Delgado? Are you going to buy this last painting off of us? No, you don't want it? Oh, come on. You're never going to find another stick man like this. Come on, you know you want the stick man. It's a great deal. It's a one of a kind. Come on, the yard sale's almost over. You'll never find another one like it. I can guarantee you it's a one-time original. Painted by yours truly. Come on. I know, this yard sale's about to end. Do you want it? Who's going to purchase it? Who's it going to be? All right. He bought it. We have sold everything. And our grand total is... And 
Jaden made 22,052 simoleons at this yard sale. Holy shit, she made a freaking killing. That's amazing. <laughs> like, honestly, 22,000 simoleons at a yard sale. Like, what? Oh my god. Honestly, that's... Wow. Okay, so she was only expecting to make a little bit of money, but she made a shit ton of money. And so she's like, hello, holiday, here we come. Honey, the yard sale went freaking amazing. And he's like, really? And she's like, yeah, we made 22K. And he's like, no, we didn't. And she's like, yeah, we did. So, you know, that holiday that I was telling you about, we're totally going to take it. And he's like, okay. And she's like, so I'm going to go ahead and make plans for that. But for the kids teen birthday, I want us to take them for their summer holiday. Once school's out, I want us to take them to Solani. And he's like, Solani. And she's like, yeah, we can afford to do it now. And he's like, are you kidding? And she's like, no, I want to go to Solani for the week for the kids for their teen birthdays. And he's like, okay. She's like, can we do it? And he's like, if that's what you want, honey, that's what we're going to do. So they're going to take the children for their teen birthdays for a week to Solani. And that's their plan. So, so she's up from her nap. She had taken a nap and she's just talking to Adelaide and she's like, have you been brushing your teeth? How's school going? I know it's almost over for the year. And she's like, yeah, school's going good. As far as brushing my teeth, I hate the mint taste and brushing my teeth is boring. And she's like, you have to brush your teeth, Adelaide. And she's like, I just wanted to let you know, I'm so proud of you for being a good student and for doing good in school. So I just wanted to know if you'd like to go on a vacation for the, for the ho summer holidays. And she's like, I'd love to go on a holiday vacation. And she's like, well, mom and dad have been discussing it and we're going to take you and rebel on a holiday when school's out. And she's like, seriously? And she's like, yep, we are. Where are we going? Well, that my sweetheart is going to be a surprise, but do know that as soon as school's out, we're going to take you guys on a holiday vacation. So... She's like, Mom, that's great news. I love that. I love it, so yeah. they're going to go on a holiday, and she's let Adelaide know. Rebel and, obviously, Marcus are in there in bed, but she has gone ahead and spilled the beans to Adelaide because she couldn't keep it a secret any longer. She's so excited to let her know that they're going on a holiday. But I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when a new episode goes live. Let me know what you thought of the yard sale and of the day at the park for Marcus's birthday and what you think of the them going on a holiday to Solani and I will see you guys in the next one but until then I am gonna go ahead and fly for now bye Ravens